Hello and welcome. This video is going to be a what sold for me for the first week of June. So that's June 1st to June 7th. Sales have slowed a little bit, but so have I because I've been enjoying the warmth and sunshine. Me personally, I've always felt like there is no summer slowdown. It's just that everyone decides to go enjoy outside and have a hot girl, hot boy, hot non-binary summer. So I feel like the summer slowdown is not just because the buyers are going out and enjoying summer, it's also because, you know, we as resellers are going out and enjoying summer. So maybe, just maybe, not listing as much. So I'm gonna start as I normally do, share with my lowest performing platform, and then go to eBay because eBay is my main bay. If you're new here, hello. I'm Heroin Bob, you can just call me Bob. And this is Moxie. She's down here most of the time and or just screaming randomly for attention. So I hope you enjoy that. I know there are some new people here, so I just felt like I needed to introduce myself. Start with Facebook Marketplace. I sold this vintage Peruvian wool sweater. Again, in May, I was very diligent about delisting old listings on eBay and then cross posting it to all the platforms. I enjoyed platform sales on all four platforms. When I did that, guess what? In June, I haven't been doing that. So I have not been making sales on all four platforms. So this sold for $20 on Facebook Marketplace in June. <laughs> Again, in June, a wool sweater sold for my full asking price of $20. So, and on Facebook, the buyer pays for shipping. This is a Mercantile J. Crew skirt. This is new with tags. I paid like $5 for this at the thrift store. I've had it for a while. I thought it would sell faster. It didn't, so I cross-posted it. I still doubled my money. Still very happy it sold. I'm sorry, I paid $4 for that. And then the Peruvian wool sweater, I also paid $4 for. And then we're gonna pick up Miss Moxie. And we're going to shift her over here because if not, my butt will knock her off of the ottoman and she'll be very upset with me. So now we're gonna go to eBay because again, I only have Facebook Marketplace and eBay sales to share with you. This is a pair of Nurture flats. I would not recommend picking these up uh, personally. These took quite a long time to sell. I just thought they were cute and I believe they were only two dollars at the thrift store which is why I decided to go ahead and buy them. They did finally sell for $14.30 when I sent an offer on eBay. Almost 99% of my listings are buyer pays for shipping just so you know. So technically all in $20.30 to the buyer. I do like to sell ties because uh, unless I buy them at Goodwill, which I rarely buy them at Goodwill anymore because they're $4. Most thrift stores, it costs $2 or less. Most estate sales, a dollar or less. So I do like to buy and sell ties. I am very picky about which ties I do pick up. Uh, I do like to sell the Brooke Brothers Makers ties. These are handmade in the United States of Italian silk. And this one sold for $8 and the buyer paid $4 of shipping. Again, I paid $2 for this. They're small, they're lightweight, you can't break, and they don't take up much, that much space. So I will sell these all day long. This is a free people top. I rarely find free people in my area. And when I do, I'm always surprised. And then I also rarely pick it up. This I paid $4 for at a CHKD. It sold for $14 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping. This is a Cricket or Cricket polo. This was flawed. I did stitch the flaw together. It was a small hole like down here at the bottom. I did stitch it up and disclose that it was repaired. Someone still bought it for $15 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping. Again, this is something I bought for like $4.50 at a thrift store. This is something that I picked up because it was recommended to be by Matt in the menswear manifesto. Even the splat item still sold. Puffles, I think uh, uh, Donna. Puffles as she's here on YouTube, Donna as she is in real life, I guess. Sent a message to me saying that she wanted to buy this when I did my Vins haul, and she did. As soon as I listed it, I sent her the listing and she bought it for full price, so Donna, thank you very much. I'm so glad that you found me on my live with Tracy and then have decided to hang out for a while. She leaves the loveliest comments on my YouTube videos and then she bought this book for me. It's apparently the first time she's bought anything on eBay. So thank you very much for letting me be your first, your first seller and uh, I hope you like it. It was a lovely book. This is a Hans Christian Andersen fairy tales. This is a reproduction of an 1884 copy. 
and I got this at the Benz. So thank you very much for your support. Hello, Editing Bob here. I'm so sorry, Liz, thank you. Uh, I don't know where the sale got missed in here, but Liz bought this little cider cookbook I picked up at the Benz in my latest Benz trip and she is going to gift it to a friend who is a chef who also loves cider probably as much as I do. She bought it for my full asking price of $4.87. Uh, Liz, again, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened, but thank you for purchasing from me. Thank you for supporting me. And the message you sent me meant so much. Like whenever you guys do little messages with your orders or just leave me comments, it means so much to me. So thank you very much, Liz. I'm so sorry, but I was not going to forget you. So uh, back to other Bob, okay? All right. This is a vintage 80s California connection, crop top, tie waist, so cool. This is such a cool top. It did not fit me well, but I hope whoever bought, bought this, it's amazing on them because it's such a cool top. And it sold for $14 and the buyer paid $4 for shipping. This is from an estate sale where I paid a dollar for this. This is something from Pete. Uh, Pete, thank you very much for buying for me. He bought two books for me. So it is the book club edition of The Hunt for Red October. The same Hunt for Red October that was made into a movie with Sean Connery. Rest in peace, Sean Connery. And then he also bought Prison Planet uh, by Victor Haywood which is the worst book I have ever read in my entire life. Like as far as the worst book I've ever finished. So I bought this because I do have a second channel. It is a book channel. I read a lot of vintage sci-fi and fantasy as well as modern sci-fi and fantasy and YA. I will link that up above. If you wanna watch how terrible this book review was and how terrible the book was, I will link that up above for you to watch. But uh, Peter, I will let you know, I am uh, so sorry that if you do not enjoy this uh, Prison Planet book, I did warn you that it was terrible. So <laughs> it's, just, it's bad. But he bought it for $25.87. And because uh, I do flat rate shipping, uh, mostly because I rarely get bundles on eBay, uh, I did refund him the shipping difference. So I refunded him $3.26 for the shipping difference for the two books. So thank you very much for buying from me. This is a pair of refugee women's shorts. I do not recommend picking these up. These came to me in a thread up denim box uh, and I was just trying to get all my money back. I have not lost money on a thread up box so far. Fingers crossed. There is no wood for me to knock on. So we're just gonna have to hope that I can get to some wood soon. That is a euphemism. All right, sold for $8.39 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping. Just happy to see them go. This is something that I picked up at a hole in the wall thrift store in the middle of Brahamsville here in Virginia. I paid a dollar for this. I sent it to Amazon FBA after a year of it not selling, they sent it back to me. So it sold finally for $2.90 and the buyer paid for shipping between uh, the Amazon FBA and my original buy costs, I just broke even on this and I'm glad it's gone. I went to Texas somewhere. This is Vintage Chinego China. I have a very soft spot in my heart for American uh, pottery, especially American restaurant wear. Most restaurant wear isn't made in America anymore. So whenever I find this, I do try to save it uh, here in Virginia in my area. If something that is glass or ceramic doesn't sell within four weeks, the typical four week rotation, it gets smashed and trashed. So if it doesn't get sold within those four weeks, it is going to be gone forever. The, the bins in my area does not take this type of stuff. They don't sell it in the bin. So there's not even a last hurrah. It's literally on Sunday, all you hear is breakage in the back room. It's really sad. So I paid 99 cents for this and it sold for 487 and the buyer paid $6 for shipping. This is one of those things I had to delist and relist and cross post before it sold on eBay, but it did sell. This is a pair of silver jeans. Yes, that is my butt. My butt is not magic. It does not, it does not sell things. It just causes harassment online on some platforms. 
that I, uh, I've mentioned before. But in this case, uh, it did show how they wore. It sold for $15 in the buyer pit padded fat loop for shipping. This is another brand I heard about from Matt. He didn't put this in a manifesto. He just keeps saying that he, these are easy sells for him for like $25. If you add 15 plus the 965 for the padded flat rate, that's $25 because roughly $25 because he does free shipping on his um, on his eBay store. This next piece is a vintage Hawaiian top. This also had flaws with it. I had a couple of small pinholes again in this belly area. <laughs> Don't know what's going on there for for men, but I guess it's the beer belly like rubbing up against the bar or something. I don't know. No, no hate. You know, I also get those those little things too, so we're good. But it sold for eleven dollars, and the buyer paid four dollars for shipping. This shirt got bought three times, and then not paid for before uh, if someone finally did. So I hope they enjoy it. This next item is something that I never got to show you guys in a video. This is Quentin Blake. Quentin Blake is an illustrator commonly used by Ronald Dahl for his book. Uh, Ronald Darrell is the same guy who wrote The Witches, Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Most of these mugs you'll find uh, are being sold in the UK. This is a fine bone china uh, teacup mug, whatever you want to call it. It's sold within 48 hours of me listing it on offer for $15 and the buyer paid padded flat rate for shipping. I don't actually send it padded flat rate. I actually send it in a 7 by 7 6 box, uh, priority box. It's just that 965 is pretty much the perfect amount of money to send that seven by seven six box which is what i do but yeah that whenever i find clinton blake i always get a little excited because again i do have that book channel i do have a soft spot for books and uh, i do have a soft spot for illustrators as well this is something i bought a long time ago i considered keeping it this is a dead stock uh, 80s purse it still had the little tiny department store tag on it from the 80s it is uh, faux leather, or as we like to call it then, pleather, <laughs> and it sold for $14.87 and the buyer paid padded flat rate for shipping. This was in immaculate condition. I don't know where this was stored or how, but you know, the fact that pleather has made it 35 years and it's still in flawless condition, this was in like the perfect condition for it to be stored in. Um, I did uh, do a little conditioning with it uh, and then sent it off on its way to make sure that it would arrive to the buyer in perfect shape. This is something from the Air Force retirees estate sale. I went to an estate sale in Hampton and it was one of the rare instances where the husband unfortunately outlived the wife and he had a shopping addiction which is again normally roles are reversed but he had a lot of clothes and I cleaned out those closets and I got everything for less than a dollar a piece. So I paid less than a dollar for this. The only reason I picked this up is because it was new with tags. As you saw, it, it only sold for $8, uh, but the buyer paid for shipping and I paid less than a dollar for it. And I'm really happy. It didn't go in a skip. So that's all that matters. This, I don't pick up Vince that often. It is a brand that has a very high retail value, but not necessarily a high resale value. Normally when it comes to brands like Vince or Rag and & Bone or Eileen Fisher, I'm wanting those high quality natural fabrics. So I'm wanting silk, I'm wanting linen, I'm wanting wool. And when I found, I found this silk blouse, but it was like a long tunic and a size 10. I was like, this is just really pretty. And so I went ahead and picked it up. I paid less than $5 for it. And it sold actually within a couple of weeks of me listing it for $30. The buyer sent me an offer. Actually, I sent the buyer an offer and then it expired because you have like 48 hours to accept a buyer on uh, an offer on eBay. And this person sent me a message after the weekend was like, hey, I, you sent me a $30 offer and it expired. Can you send me another one? I'd happily buy it. And I did. And they did. So, yay. So it sold for $30 and the buyer paid $4 for shipping. So this was actually a really, really lovely sale. Uh, another piece of restaurant wear, paid a dollar for this piece and it sold for $13 and the buyer paid $15 for shipping. Uh, I do pride myself on my shipping uh, and I really hope this person enjoys it. And I'm just glad that another vintage piece of restaurant wear got saved from the trash. This is another thrift store find that I didn't get to show in a video. This I paid like $3 for at a thrift store 
and it sold for eight dollars within 72 hours of me listing it and the buyer paid for shipping. This is 500 Death Punch. This is a modern shirt. I just knew that this would be a very quick clip because it's an XL. I was able to Google image search uh, the picture so I could give the exact title of this image, which you see here, uh, which I think definitely helps sell it. We have another tie. I know not everybody likes to sell ties. I do for the reasons I mentioned before. This is a vintage Pendleton tie. I picked this up in a estate sale for it a dollar. It sold for $14 and the buyer paid $4 for shipping. This did sit in my house for a while and then I finally listed it and then it sat for a couple months and then it sold. <laughs> this next item, I am trying to get through all of my shorts and pants so I can move on to this plethora of tops I have in front of me that you cannot see. This is also from a recent thrift uh, excursion that I did not film. This is a pair of Columbia PFG shorts. Again, if you have shorts in your death pile, dig those suckers out and list them because I, every pair of shorts I have listed that is men's shorts has sold within two weeks of me listing it. So this pair of PFG shorts sold for my full asking price of $16.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. This is a pair of Travis Matthew pants that I've had in my death pile for a while. I know pants are worth money, but like pants and shoes and dresses are the th three things that I like have a mental block listing for some reason. Finally got around to listing these. They sold within 48 hours of me listing them for $23 and the buyer paid padded flat rate for shipping. A pair of BDG. Uh, skirt. I paid three dollars for this at a thrift store. It sold for $9.87 which is my full asking price and the buyer paid for shipping. BDG is not going to get you a lot of money but if you mark it reasonably and it's in great condition it goes very quickly or at least it does for me. This next item is Mac Weldon another brand that I know because of Matt from Thrift Life and the manifesto. That's what I call it. It's sold actually uh, overseas. It's it's sold via the global shipping program for my full asking price of $21.87. I actually found two of these at a thrift store. I paid less than $5 a piece for them. I found it in red and blue. The red for some reason sold before the blue one did, but it sold and it's because it's an international sale, the chances of it coming back to me are very slim. Vintage glassware, vintage ceramics get smashed and trashed in my area. So if I feel like I can sell it, I will try to sell it so it doesn't get destroyed and end up in a landfill. This is a vintage Anchor Hawking two cup measuring cup. It sold for $8.39 and the buyer paid for shipping. This is something that I paid $2 for at a thrift store. This is a vintage sale. So this is from the 80s. The intriguing threads doesn't matter as far as the brand goes. As you can see, I put high-waisted cottage core shorts. It does have pockets. That's what sold it. This is a total style sale. Intriguing Threads is not really a brand as far as vintage goes that I look out for. It was just like, okay, I cannot not buy these for $2. So it sold for $15.90 and the buyer paid for shipping. My lovely friend Brett, who is a big supporter of my channel, ha sent me a lovely giant bag of ephemera he found at the bins in his area uh, and also some stuff from an estate sale. It was I think this came from an estate sale where it was like this giant bag of postcards from what he said was a nun who liked to travel the United States uh, and help people. And so I have been slowly listing those on my bad pot stays and this one sold for $4.14. eBay, if you do not know, has something called eBay standard envelope where you can send uh, three trading cards that aren't graded because if you grade them, they're in that plastic case. So if you, you can send like graded cards, the like collector's cards, trading cards, three postcards, or like a certain number of stamps for like a, a flat rate. So it costs a dollar or less. So it's up to three ounces. Three ounces is the one dollar rate. I just charge a dollar. Uh, and there's a tracking and it's it you can just stick it in a regular envelope there's a little tracking number it's really cool uh, but it has to be either a postcard stamps or ungraded tr trading cards um, so that's how i'm able to get away with sending this for a dollar and still have it be tracked it's very cool uh, i didn't really notice that until 
I didn't really learn about that until I got this giant windfall of postcards from Brett. So thank you, Brett, again for this. The last thing I'm going to share with you is something I picked up because of my partner. My partner is from Texas. I'm not gonna get into what's going on in Texas right now. I don't live there, I will never wanna live there, but his family lives there and they are lovely. And when I saw this, I just had to buy it because it was like $4 at a thrift store and I just thought it was so funny. It's a vintage jerseys sweatshirt where someone like cut the, sh the sleeves off. So it was like a muscle sweatshirt. Very popular in the 80s uh, and early 90s to do that. Uh, before, you know, Michael Jordan made baggy stuff and well before hip hop culture and Michael Jordan Michael Jordan of course made longer shorts popular and then hip hop culture made like baggy style everything more popular in the mid and late 90s but yeah i saw this i had to get it somebody finally bought it for $14.87 and i hope whoever gets this is just the coolest i wear it with a pair of high waisted like cut off shorts some big hair, be great. I love it. Sometimes I have to buy stuff just because I don't want it to end up in a landfill. So that was that reason. I mean, I know for a reseller, that's not why you should do it. You should buy it because you're gonna make money off it. Do I almost always make money off of it eventually? Yes. Do I hold on to it sometimes for a little bit too long? Also, yes. Is it worth it to me personally for it not to end up in a landfill? Also, yes. So I do want to let you all know that I also sold uh, a couple of things from that big vintage buyout where I paid $100 for like four mountainous piles of clothes plus a bunch of other stuff. I decided that June is my birthday month so I'm going to try to give myself the gift of a less hoarded house and so I'm going to be putting up 20 pieces from that big vintage buyout every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Whatnot. I'll put a link to Whatnot in my bio. It's Heroin Bob or Heroin B0B. Uh, if you are interested in just hanging out with me for like half an hour to an hour every Monday night, that'd be great. If not, you do you. If you're not interested in Whatnot, no problem. Uh, it will be mostly women's vintage from the 60s to pretty much the 90s uh, and it will almost all be women's extra small small and medium because that's what I tend to buy because that's what I'm able to wear <laughs> so I could model it but I hope you guys are having a wonderful day doing whatever it is you're doing I hope you guys have started off June with some great sales and I will see you guys in a couple days for another video bye